The gold market hovered early Monday, right around unchanged. We saw about a $20 range in gold today, rather narrow, given where we've seen the trade over the last several weeks. But hovering just below the 200-day moving average, again, like a lot of commodities we've seen out there, waiting for some catalyst moment, and this week's FOMC may be that time. Uh, will the Fed talk about stepping on the gas, maybe increasing their, their asset purchases, or will they actually talk about taking, taking a step back? Either way, gold could see a big move if the Fed gives any kind of indication one way or the other. The one thing we don't want to see is a status quo and wait and see type of message, which would probably keep gold hovering in the range it's been in. Uh, over the last couple weeks, we've seen it hovering right around 1840 with dips down below as 1820 and, and up as high as in the 1870s. So at this point, we're kind of hovering in that midpoint of that range or just above it, uh, looking for some kind of moment. Maybe it's going to be an equity sell-off. Maybe it's going to be a dollar trade. But at this point, uh, gold is waiting and not seeing any real knee-jerk reactions today. Uh, the dollar didn't play a whole big role today. It was kind of in a tight range, slightly higher. But again, it could be just a position trade ahead of FOMC, so not a factor in today's trade. And lastly, positioning uh, speculators after seeing a huge exit a few weeks ago of longs kind of holding steady here. So as the market kind of starts to build a range and hovering around that 1850 level, speculators haven't really gone and run to the exits after that big move we saw on January 8th, pushing the market lower, taking us down south of 1900. That was probably a catalyst that got a lot of these speculator longs to exit. We haven't seen that in the last week. So right now, kind of holding steady, speculators not really giving away much and not looking to add, at least until there's more clarity. So gold kind of hovering right at that 200-day uh, moving average or just below it, ahead of the Fed, which could make things interesting in the days and weeks ahead.